frantic search in Colorado where a 12-year-old girl vanished on her way to a birthday party. We're talking a distance of only a few blocks, not a, not a huge distance. Authorities are stepping up their search for a missing 12-year-old girl. Kaylee Wilson's her name, sixth grader. She was last seen Sunday afternoon walking to a friend's home just a few blocks away again for this birthday party. When she, when she left, she was apparently going to meet a party that was going to walk with her to this birthday party. And they were supposed to meet at approximately 4 o'clock. So the time that she left was, was uh, an appropriate time to leave to walk to this location. Never arrived at the party. Authorities north of Denver are now looking at places where she hung out and they're going back to re-interview some people. Then there's this. Her mom says recently she broke up with her much older boyfriend. She's 12. He is 17. He's been cooperative with us. Uh, he is not a person of interest. Uh, at this point in time, he is not uh, considered a, a person of interest or a suspect. I'm Jean Casares of the Legal Network in session in for Nancy Grace today. Little Kalia Wilson, sixth grader, 12 years old. She leaves for the birthday party. She doesn't have money with her. She doesn't have credit cards with her. She doesn't have a cell phone with her. She's just got her asthma inhaler with her. That's not going to get her too far. I want to go out to Peter Banda, reporter from the Associated Press out of the state of Colorado. What about her father? Where is he? Have police spoken with him? Uh, her father, uh, under the police are telling us her father is in California um, and apparently really hasn't been in the picture, uh, but they have talked to him uh, and uh, they've, they've let him know what's going on and, and they're staying in contact with him. All right, good to hear. Rhonda in Alabama. Rhonda, hi, good evening. Hi, I'm Jean, how are you? I'm fine. Your question? Yes, uh, if she was on her way to a birthday party, uh, what happened to the birthday present she was carrying? Did they find it anywhere between when she left home and the shopping mall? Good question. Troy Coverdale out of Greeley, Colorado, news director KFKA Radio. Any birthday present? There's been no indication whatsoever that she was carrying a birthday present when she left the home. Uh, nothing has been discussed uh, as such, at, at, at least as far as we've been able to ascertain. Uh, that it, that the, Again, the only thing that she had uh, with her when she left home was that asthma right, inhaler. Right. You know, Rhonda, it's a good question because I thought about that. Because when I was a little girl, you always took a birthday present to the birthday party, and I think most people do. But I think sometimes you might just go to the party and not take a present. But it's a good question about a party in general, I agree. Stephanie in New Jersey. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, Stephanie. New Jersey, what's your question? I have a question. Have they searched, like, the boyfriend's car and the boyfriend's home? I, I understand that they've questioned him, but have they really? Because if he has a car, you know, you never know. He could have taken her, you know, and took her, took her somewhere and, like, you know, hit her in a closet or anything. Peter Banda, reporter, Associated Press out of Colorado. What do we know about the boyfriend? Have they spoken with him? Does he live in the area? When did they break up? Uh, as far as when they break up, police... Uh, if a 12-year-old can break up with a boyfriend. Uh, when they, they broke up, but uh, they, they did uh, question him as far as specific uh, uh, steps they've taken, uh, searches, uh, what have you. Uh, all we know is that they've collected some evidence from the home, uh, from uh, uh, Kalia's home, but that's that's all, all they're telling us at this point. So um, whether or not they searched the boyfriend's car, uh, we, we don't know. Okay, so the boyfriend has a car. I guess he would at 17 probably, right? But, you know, question is how can a 12-year-old really break up with a 17-year-old? At least they shouldn't have to really break up, shouldn't be there to begin with. L but that's my opinion. Leslie in Colorado. Leslie, I want to go to you because you are in the state we are talking about tonight. Where do you live in Colorado? I actually live in Greeley. You live in Greeley? Yeah. Oh, my goodness, I got chills. Um, tell us, what is your community going through right now? Um... Nobody wants their kids to actually leave presents. There's a lot of um, banners up showing. I know the school, her school is wearing ribbons, the teachers. Is it front page news? Is the community getting yes. involved? Yes, everybody is waiting to see if there's anything new. I know everybody's eager to find this little girl and to find out what has actually happened if she was abducted and if we need to look out for, you know, our little ones or if um, she just you know, took off to a friend's house and planned to stay for a while. All right. Well, I'm sure the community is scared and concerned because you just don't know. Leslie in Colorado, thank you for calling. And right now, tonight's CNN Heroes.